Thank you, Mr. Haven. I have a technical question and just some, some more stuff. Okay. Um, when you pass this bill, or they pass, or they pass this bill, um, you're restricting us on the streets. You've already heard this, okay, to how many rounds we can have or we can't have. We can have 10, they can have as many as they want. Right. Okay? You say we're nation of laws. We are nation of laws. Not all laws are good. This one. Okay. But we're being restricted all the time on everything, on gun rights. No matter, every time we turn around, we're being restricted. If this bill, this law, it's on a bill in law, right? This wow. law didn't have the gun stuff in it. It would be sort of okay on the mental health issues, okay, on crime. I didn't see anything in this bill, this law, that states that if you commit a crime with one of these banned weapons, that you're going to have your toenails pulled out or anything like this. You know, where's the teeth in this bill? No. That really, that it, like if you if you commit a, an atrocity that happened that Sandy Hook, right? You know, you're going to be uh, severely punished. But once again, a nation of laws, okay? Right. Connecticut law. We live in a state where if that SOB lived, he would go to jail for the rest of his life. He would go to a mental institution for the rest of his right. life. What good is that law? You mean compared to the death penalty? Compared to the death penalty. Well, we, we, I no, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing my no, time. We don't person, have to, yeah. I mean, I voted not to leave it the way it was before, but. Uh, you know, like death. <laughs> You know, we don't have the death penalty any longer. That vote came up two years ago. Yeah. I think we both voted. We both voted not to re, not to change the law, but we were the minority party. So yeah. that, in that case, yes. But there are greater restrictions for prosecutorial uh, language in this bill, isn't there? As far as gun gun violence, you would have more of the technical. There would be. If you use one of these banned guns in the crime, like you just yeah. If you have it illegally, that's a class D felony that they would add on to whatever crime you committed. If you kill somebody, it's murder. And then they'll throw on the, the illegal possession of the gun, the magazine, whatever else. They've increased all the penalties on gun violence, too. Well, uh, there's increased. If, increase. if, you, if you commit a petty, you a petty crime with a gun, you, know, you'll, you go into a 7 Eleven. And you hold them up and you get 50 bucks, may not be that act of robbery, may not be the felony, but the felony would be yep. if you use an assault weapon unregistered. I have, okay, on that issue with, with our a lawyer, I'm sorry, I don't have your name. Mike. 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 I thought in Connecticut, if you, commit, if you committed a crime with a handgun and you didn't have a permit, okay, it was a mandatory one year jail sentence, correct? Also, if you commit a crime with a handgun or a gun, okay, it's supposed to be a mandatory five years, I believe, isn't it? Uh, it depends on the crime. I'm sorry? It depends on the crime. Okay, but it's an add-on. It starts there. But from what I understand, I'm not a lawyer. These are the things they plea bargain away. Why? Why even have a mandatory law? Why? <coughs> it, it, make, it makes, it, it, it to people like us who are constantly. That is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. We had mandatory minimums. And all of us voted against getting rid of the mandatory minimums. And the majority party voted to, sorry, we voted to keep the mandatory minimums. The majority party wanted to get rid of the mandatory minimums. And they disappeared. That's an example of. You know, we didn't negotiate the bill because there was nothing to negotiate. Either the mandatory minimums or they're not. And the majority said, we don't want them. So they won their way on that. Same thing with the 85% that we yeah. got back under this bill. Which that was good, by the way. Was that? But you, you got the 85%. No, that was good. But I would say, I would say 85 isn't enough. I would say serve the whole 100%. Well, well, you, have, you can't apply for parole until you, you cannot apply for parole until you serve at least 85%. Then you can apply for parole. So right. most likely you'll serve the. Okay. Now you uh, one technical uh, question. Just one thing. They did pull the um, uh, uh, law enforcement in Connecticut. There's like, like 15,000 of them. It was a sample, obviously. 97% of the police that were polled stated this is going to do absolutely nothing. Zero. 
to I stop to stop crime. I know I care for law enforcement, and they they actually like a good part of the bill. They yeah. they like all well, the bill. parts. Do you, that, okay, like, sir, do you know if that was the poll on the background check federally, or is that Connecticut? I haven't seen that poll. I asked Mike if he did. Was that with respect to the Connecticut law and the Connecticut law enforcement folks? Yeah, the Connecticut. It was a, a poll. I, I, okay, I'm fair enough. I don't have it with me. Yeah, I get you. But it was it, it was in Connecticut. Okay. Um, also, I have a technical question for a lawyer, for Mike, Mike the lawyer. Um, an M1A, it's a, it's a civilian version of the M M14. According to the new law, um, it meets the criteria of a, an assault weapon. It, it, uh, there's a magazine, a uh, well, and it has a flash suppressor, okay? According to uh, the new law, okay, um, um, I only saw on threaded barrels, only referred to pistols, and then when they has a threaded barrel. In California, I know they got around that on the first band, where you could unscrew it and put on what's called a muzzle brake. Okay? So if someone, in fact, had an M1A in Connecticut, and they unscrewed it and put in what's called a muzzle brake, is there a definition on that? Because uh, I understand. Not in the bill. Huh? It's not, there's no definition on a muzzle brake in the bill. So, um, so it would be compliant as long as it didn't have any other military. Well, according to the assault weapon definition, isn't it? I couldn't rock it. Um, it, um, it, um, it has a magazine well, okay? And, and it has to um, have one other feature, like a bayonet lock, a flash suppressor, so a, a full of stock, or something right. like that, okay? So if you, in fact, unscrew that and put in a uh, compensator, Something like that. I know they, um, on the new law, it says nothing about a threaded barrel. Not for long, guns, no. Does the first law affect the second law on the threaded barrel? The threaded barrel is only for handguns. Just for handguns. Yes. So, I, so I could, in fact, then put yes. a. It could be a test case, though, but uh, no, not me. I, I don't have one. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, sir.